your task is to make two functions to basically find a minimum of an array and a maximum. Okay, let's start off with a brute force method. So what you can do to find the minimum is define a minimum value. It will be the first value of the array. Array square bracket zero, that indicates the first value. And what you have to do is to loop through the array. So for integer in array, or let's call it element for element in array. And then you have to check out if the value that you iterate over is lower than the minimum value that you initiate here. So if element is less than the minimum value, and if that's the case, then the minimum value is the element and nothing else. And after this drill, you should get a value of minus 110. So return the minimum. There we go. That should work out. So let's try it. Let's comma this out. Run it. Minus 110. Okay, mission accomplished. Let's uncomment this. And to find the maximum, you should apply the same principle. So the maximum is the first element in the array. Maximum is array and then the first element. And then we loop again through the array for element in array. If element is more than the maximum, Whereas the maximum is the element. Whoops, I forgot something here. Then we should return the maximum. There we go. Let's save it and let's run it. And as you can see, the highest value is indeed 56. However, this is the brute force to make it yourself easy. There is a built-in uh, function in Python to return the maximum and respectively the minimum value. And that's nothing more than this. Return minimum of the array and return maximum of the array. And that's actually the preferred method. Let's execute it again and it works out. So we can copy this, throw it in here, and there we go.